Greetings and welcome to today's lesson. In today's lesson, we are going to go over our spelling words for the day. Make sure that you're participating with me with your hands and fingers for syllables and sounds. Make sure you're writing the words out correctly. Make sure you're saying the sounds with me. Uh, follow along and do everything that I do. All right, our first word for the day is relate. So relate means how do two, what do two things have in common, right? So how do how do fractions and additions relate, right? Or, um, or not fractions, multiplication and addition relate, right? All multiplication is is related is repeated addition, so they, they relate to each other. They have things in common. Okay, here we go. Relate base word relate re late r e o a t e relate. Okay, go ahead and write relate. Skip a line. Re late. Markings, r e once, rule four, o a once, t once, e once. So rule four, e may say e at the end of a syllable. Here, the e is aligned with a to say a, job one of the silent final e. Now, the next word is relative, okay? Relative means things that are, that are related are relative, okay? So you're your, your family is a relative, right? Your cousin is a relative because you are related to each other. You're connected through your family, right? So relative, here we go. Relative, base word, relate, ending if. I write relate without the silent final E because my ending if starts with a vowel, okay? Now our syllables, rel, a, tiv, r, e, u, a, t, i, v, e, relative. Okay, right, relative. Rel, a, tiv. Markings, r, e, u, a, once, rule four. T, i, v, once, e, twice, job two. Okay, so a may say a at the end of the syllable, rule four. Here, the E is not allowing the I to say I, but what it's doing is English words can't end in a V. Right? So we have to put an E, and that's job two. Right? Let's brace those two. All right, now the next two um, are going to be um, spelled the same, but we say them different, okay, differently. So the next one is progress. All right? um, so progress is um, going to be used as a, a verb. So you need to progress in your studies. You need to keep progressing, okay? Progress, base word, progress. Pro, gress, p, r, o, g, r, e, s, s. Progress, right? Write progress. Pro, gress, right? Markings, p, r, o, once, rule four, g, r, e, s. Rule 17. All right, and I know we don't have a lot of space here, but I'm going to put a V behind this because it's a verb. Now, if you make a lot of progress, right, you're, or you're, you're doing well and you're progressing in your studies, then you've made progress. Right? And progress is a noun. How much progress have you made? Have you made a lot of progress? Right? So all we're doing is we're changing it from progress, we're moving that G um, on this syllable over to the, the, the next syllable, so it's, or, or sorry, other way around, moving it from the second syllable to the first syllable, okay? So, progress, prog, res, p, r, a, g, r, e, s, s, progress, okay? Prog, gr, uh, res, okay? Markings, p, r, a, g, r, e, s, s, progress. And that's rule 17, okay? And this is a noun. Now, how do you know which one you're using? Well, you just have to know it in context. So when you're reading a story, if it's using it as a verb, then you would say progress. If it's using it as a noun, you would use, you'd say progress. All right, the next word is preside, right? So preside means to, to be responsible and to have oversight over a meeting or or uh, an institution or something like that. So the person in charge of the meeting is going to preside over the meeting, making sure everyone's doing the right things. 
uh, it was saying the right things, okay? Preside, base word, preside. Pre, zide. P, r, e, z, i, d, e, preside. Here this z is an s, okay, right? Preside. Pre, zide. Markings, p, r, e, once, rule four. Z, two, I, once, d, once, e, once. Preside, right? Now, the person who presides over a meeting or presides over, uh, over a company or a government is often called the president. Okay, so the president is the person who presides. Right, so president, base word, preside, ending, ent. I write preside without the silent final e because my ending ent starts with a vowel. In our syllables, so that that um, s is going to slide over to the first syllable. Prez, i, dent, p, r, e, z, i, d, e, n, t. Okay, All right, right. President, prez, i, dent. Markings, p, r, e, z. Two, I, D, E, N, T. Oops, D, rule 11. E, N, T. What's rule 11? I had to get rid of this silent final E because my ending ent starts with a vowel. Right? So, president. All right. And so, for example, the person who who sort of leads the government in our country is the president, but you can also have presidents of companies and things like that. All right, the next word is fame. So uh, fame is what people think of you, do they know you, right? That is your fame, right? Fame, base word fame. A, M, E, fame, right? Right, fame. A, M, E, fame. Markings, f, A, once, m, once, E, once, fame, right? This is job one of the silent final E, it's allowing the A to say A. Now, if someone has a lot of fame, they are famous, okay? Famous, so um, think of a, a, a famous actor or singer or, or something like that, that person is famous. Lots and lots of people know who they are. Famous. Base word, fame, ending, us. I write fame without the sign of final E because my ending us starts with a vowel. Fa mus. A, m, a, s. Here I'm going to use the ow, o, u, a phonogram. Okay? Write famous. Right? Fa mus. Markings, a once, rule four, m, mm, rule eleven, a uh, once, four, again, it's four sound, s, famous, right? So let's brace these. So here, a makes a a at the end of a syllable, rule four, I had to get rid of the silent final e, rule eleven. And I just noticed I missed that up here, right? Up here too, I had to get rid of this silent final e. Because I added if, that should have been rule 11. Miss that one. All right. Next word is the word serve. Like I will serve dinner. Okay. Serve. Base word serve. S, er, v, e. Serve. Right. Here I'm using the er of her. Okay. Service. Sir. Or not service, serve. Sir, the, serve. S, er, once, the, once, e, twice, job, two. All right, again here, the e is not making anything say, that say its name, but what it's doing is allowing the v not to be at the end of the word. 
Now, I had service in the mind because I was thinking, how cool would it be if we did service and then we had all of them brace, but that's not the next word, right? The, the next word is estate. Uh, so an estate is everything that someone owns, right? So think of someone who owns a house, they have cars, they have electronics, they have clothes, all of those things make up their estate, okay? Estate, base word, estate. S, tate, e, s, t, a, t, e, estate, right? Right, estate. S, tate. Markings, e, s, t, a, once, t, once, e, once, estate. And here, this e is along the a, just say a, right? Estate. All right. That is all of our words for today. I hope you have a terrific day and look forward to seeing you next time. Bye.